have gotten some other taxidermist business. Well, when that happens, you break into the business. You, that's the only way you can break in. you got to get somebody's. So, anyway, the taxidermy business is a very tough business to, to get into and, and make a living at. It's not easy, you know. It really isn't. Okay, I'm going to do this side here. I know I said we'd go ahead and do the other side first, but I'll tell you what. You see how thick I, I shaved these down to these ideals, these tear ducts. What I did is I'm going to go ahead and get this under here, go up above the eye. <laughs> I got to get this up there. The height is down a little bit. We're going to register this, this corner of this eye right here. <laughs> And remember, we, we cut out that big tear duct here for this guy. It's right, you feel in here. What you do is you take your, you can make a little, uh, little trough there for your eyelid right there. And get the corner of that right in there. See, I can see my eye right here. And uh, let me raise this camera up just a hair. Okay. It looks like everything's too big, but it's not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull everything this way. And that's what you have to do. you got to get this going. The skin isn't always going to be in the right spot. And that's what we're doing. We're pulling this skin up like this right here. See that? Okay. Now what we're going to do is i got the corner of the eye right here. And I'm going to do is I'm going to put a T-pin in there. And that's going to stick that hide right there. And that'll hold that until it's done, until it's dry. And then I'll pull it out. Now what I want to do is I want to get this hide down in that trough, this tear duct. And the only way I can do that is to just keep pushing her down in there. And that's, what, that's how we got her. Remember, we cut that out real deep. And that's going to be just like so. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to go ahead. Now this is something I, I don't normally make this mistake on, but I'm going to split that so I can get some more of that out of there. I think what happened is I got a little clay up in there. And now I'll be able to... Yeah, the pouch, it's hard to get back down in there. But now it's going down in there. I just had to get it to where it would fit. That's why you always got to cut these slots bigger. right there. So what I'll do here is I got this here. I got the corner of the eye registered right here. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of make it using that small tool here. And I'm going to go ahead and put this epoxy sculpt up there. And kind of sculpt the eye a little bit right here. And what I want to do is I want to take and get that in there. I want to go ahead and make the eyelid. When I do that, press in right there, and I take a regular stone or needle with a head on it, and I put it right in the corner of that. That way, kind of holds that eye in place. I push it in there. It's right in here. And then I just kind of work this around. Go ahead and put my shape my eyelid. And I'm gonna pull this back corner up here. What I do is I take my tool here and I go back here until I can find that back corner. I can feel that foam right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pin in there. Another pin with a head on it. Let's see if I can find a good one here. Right here. And that will hold that 
back corner in place. And what that does is it kind of, with that glue setting and all that, that'll lock that eye in there. There we go. And then what you do is you take and just go ahead and shape this bottom of your eye. Go ahead and make your eyelid here. Bottom eyelid. If you push a little of that epoxy scope out so much the better. That means that you've got a little bit there. And what I'll do is I'll put a pin in here also. I never used to do that, but I find that it holds pretty good on deer. This is just the same thing on deer. Get the bottom corner of the eye like you did the upper corner. And what that does is that holds that eye pretty gall down tight in there. And what you want to do is you want to work this eye, work some of that epoxy scope up under there. And get that eyelid so you uh, get your eyelid turned right. Get it so it's down and your eyelids are your eyelashes are pointing down a little bit. And this is one of those things you have to check every day too. Now you, a sharp tool is good for that. Sometimes I use a pin. I'll go ahead and I'll turn that. Make sure that eye, eyelid is turned inside. And you can do it. It just takes time. This is one of those detail jobs that can save you a lot of time later on. Because if you have to re-wet that and redo it, that's gonna make it make it a lot harder. It's a real once this hide dries, it's tough to get it rehydrated. You can do it, but it's not my cup of tea. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you this hide now. side and smooth out things there too. Anyway, you take your pen and then go ahead and make your final adjustment here. The upper corner of your eye toward the inside should be higher than the back. I think anyway, that's the way I look at it. Anyway, you come back tomorrow, take a look at this stuff, see how it looks. Uh, now, if you got white banded eyes, you go ahead and leave a little white on the back. You just push it back far enough where you'll see that white. Now, see, I you can push that down a little bit. That's going to look nice. Let me get a... I gotta get some paper towels here. I wanna get this glue off of here. Okay. Anyway, and then that's one side. Uh, and then that'll look that'll look good. And then I'll come back and I'll show you. Get this glue off of here underneath the eye here. There we go. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin this tear duct too. You want to pin that. You want it to move, so just go ahead and pin each corner of it. It's hard to get it pinned through that stuff, man. That's But your glue will hold that in there pretty darn good. Anyway, that, that's going to look good. That's going to look good. And then... We'll go ahead, I'll turn this over, do the other side, and then I'll give you the